Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Azure Active Directory service principles. Now, I think what is very confusing is that there are multiple names uh, that reference the same thing. And at least when I started looking at um, using a service principle to get access to a particular tenant or an active directory or a subscription uh, on Azure, it wasn't clear to me exactly what is meant by, by, by the different uh, terminology in, in this. And I wasn't able to find like a fantastic uh, diagram that describes exactly what it is uh, that these things are and what you use them for and, and you know, how do you just go about to get started with this. So I think the first thing we look at is that uh, potentially we have two active directories on Azure that we're looking at. One is our own or the company that, that you may work for where you sign in. Um, in this instance, I'm going to call it Cornell Corp. Um, it's an Azure Active Directory. And then I potentially have a, uh, a client Active Directory or a target Active Directory that's owned by another company. And I'm trying to write a or create a, uh, an application uh, that interacts with this Active Directory. And it can interact with this Active Directory in a, in a multitude of ways. But in general, um, when you sign into Active Directory, you have your own user credentials. So you have a username and a password. Uh, it's usually your email address and a password. There can be multi-factor authentication and you are signing into this Active Directory. Um, and the same would hold for, for um, people signing into um, the Training Corps Active Directory. They won't sign into each other's Active Directories necessarily uh, with those users because um, the businesses are, are, are not necessarily related. However, um, there's another um, idea that we have an application that's got its own um, ID and password, and it can log in um, to this Active Directory. For example, we may call that application the demo application. And what we then have to go do is in uh, Azure Active Directory, go to App Registrations, and register this demo application. Once we've registered it, it's got a client ID and a client secret. And we'll have a look in the next video um, exactly how that works. This app registration in Active Directory is also called a service principle. And another way to look at it is that it's just an application user. It's a user or an application that's trying to log into this Active Directory. It will be called something specific here. And then if we want um, this particular user to be able to log into other Active Directories, as soon as they add it uh, in the target Active Directory by the administrator in this Active Directory, they will show up under Enterprise Applications. But it is the same thing. The demo application will fall underneath Enterprise Applications here, but it's created as an app registration or a service principle here. It's still a service principle on this side as well, because it's the same thing. And you can generate a link that you can send to your clients, your potential clients, to add this user or this application user to their Active Directory. And when it has the correct permissions, it can then access resources uh, in this Active Directory. And there's a variety of, of login flows, um, depending on what you are trying to do with your application. Uh, you may want to log in as a particular user um, and that user has access to particular things or the actual application itself wants to log into uh, a variety of active directories and then pull information back from that. But in the next video, uh, we'll just actually look at an example of two active directories and setting up uh, uh, the app registration and then how we get it into this active directory. And then in a subsequent video, we'll look at a bit on and in terms of the login flows and, and exactly what it is that's happening and, and what we want to do there.